and happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving Day in America. For those of you who are in America, those of you who are new to America, we say welcome. If this is your first Thanksgiving, we want to say welcome. This is Thanksgiving in America. And you probably might be missing your families by now. For those of you who are new here and me, you're still trying to get adjusted. Yeah, this is what it's like. But I just jumbled here really quick today to just uh, talk about forgiveness. Because today is Thanksgiving Day and, you know, I used to work this job where I work with homeless people and this was one of the days around the holiday times when it's Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, New Year's Day. It just when most people are going away to see their families and spending time with families, we most time we had to take on extra shifts to be in the shelter and just spend some time with some people who have nowhere to be, some people who have no family around them, or some people who have their families but just do not want to be with them at this point in time. For several reasons and one mainly happens to be because of something that they just have not decided to forgive someone forgive that family member or forgive that partner that spouse or that friend or that one uncle who will show up at thanksgiving and so they decide not to go because they just do not want to be bothered with that person since they have not forgiven him Sorry guys, if you see me looking outside, I'm getting distracted. I'm sitting by the window. And I just thought to talk about this today because I know it's a day that some people might be sitting alone at home right now. Some people might not have a home, maybe in the shelter, like I said. But as difficult as it can be to forgive someone, to forgive people who hurt you, I just want us to take a step back and remember that it's also important for you and I know it's not an easy thing it's not especially when you're hurt by people you trust or by a person you trust it could be your spouse maybe your husband maybe your wife maybe your girlfriend maybe your boyfriend or maybe your family member, your mom, your dad, your kid, your sister, your brother, or friend, just whoever that is. You might be wondering, why should I forgive that person? And I'll tell you today that there are several reasons for which I want you to consider forgiving that person or forgiving those people or whoever it is that have hurt you and like I said earlier it's, it's difficult to imagine forgiveness it's not an easy thing but it's a process it's just not the thing that happens right away when somebody does something to you to hurt you Forgiveness actually is a process. This, and the actual forgiveness comes at the end of it all. It's really the last step of it. And so there are a few things I just want us to consider today. And maybe after this, you might have decided not to talk to that person anymore or never to be around wherever they are. Or maybe if you consider these few things today, I might give you one or two reasons. If you consider them, if you think about it, if you pray about it, if you're a praying person, you can pray about it, think about it. 
And maybe, just maybe, you will find a reason in your heart to call out that person today or to try to find a way, some way to reach out to them and just say those difficult words. I forgive you. The first reason I want us to look at is that forgiveness is actually the last step to us or the last step in this healing process. And it's just for you, for your own sake. It doesn't just come right away because it takes time to process. It takes time to be able to reflect on it, to actually face it, start to think about what caused this person to behave the way they behave, the why. Why did they do that? What must have been the reason for which? Is it something that I did? Is it something that somebody else did? That maybe they just transferred to me? Or was it something that happened in their past? And they're still living with that trauma that they're transferring to me or that they build this wall around themselves? What is it that really caused this to happen? Why did they do that? Those are the things that I try to establish. And when I try to establish that, most times I find out that I find more interest, I find myself taking more interest in knowing this, in learning about this person. And most often, when I come to know the story behind that person or behind why they did what they did, there's most times a correlation. There's most time an actual story of hurt or pain or deceit or something that caused that person to be living the way they are living and they're just reflecting that onto me that's all and another reason for which i learned to forgive people is because i know i realize i'm a human we are not perfect. We all have our own flaws and odds and shortcomings. And one day, someday, no matter how hard I try to walk this straight line, there will be one day that I will need forgiveness from someone too. I will need forgiveness from someone. And so I do my best to learn to forgive people. I do my best to learn to forgive people because of that. Because every day we pray and say, may God forgive me. Father God, forgive me. And Christ taught us when he was teaching us to pray that we ask the Father to forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. That was by no mistake. That was by no mistake. We have to learn to forgive because one day we too are going to need forgiveness from someone in this life. 